Okay, for this project, I am using Lion Brand Heartland, which is a four ply acrylic yarn. The color I'm using is called Glacier Bay, um, but you can use any uh, four ply yarn of any color that you like. And then um, this is going to be for a newborn size. And then you want to start off with a chain of 44. Okay, and I don't have any other sizes figured up right now. I only have the newborn. And I don't have a written pattern. So uh, the video is all I have. But once you get your chain of 44 done, you want to double crochet in the fourth stitch from the hook. And we never count the one that's on our hook. So one, two, three, four. Double crochet into it. Like that. And now I'm going to work my way across the chain putting one double crochet in every single stitch. Just like this until you get to the end of the chain. Okay, once you get to the end of the row, you want to chain three and turn your work. And that chain three is going to count as our first double crochet. So we're going to go into the next stitch, which is not this very, very first one, but this one, and double crochet. So that we have, counting that chain three, we have two double crochets in a row. Now the next stitch, we're going to put two double crochets in the same stitch. And when we put two double crochets in the same stitch, that's called our increased stitch. So that's what I'll go, I'm going to call it from now on. Now we're going to put one double crochet in each of the next two stitches again. So one in the next and then one in the next and then the next stitch will be our increase stitch. We'll put two double crochets in the same stitch. And that's the pattern we're going to repeat for the length of the chain now, or the length of the, of the row. One double crochet in each of the next two stitches. So there's one and two. And then the next stitch will be our increased stitch. Two double crochets into the same stitch. Just like that. One double crochet in each of the next two stitches. And then our next stitch is our increased stitch. Two doubles in the same stitch. So just repeat that until you get to the end of the row. Okay, I'm coming to the end here. You just want to keep doing your repeat until you get to the end. So there's one double crochet, another double crochet, and then you should have be able to put two double crochets <clears throat> in your last stitch, and it's actually your last stitch is going to be like this little chain thing here that's at the end. So go ahead and put two double crochets into the top of that, and that'll finish out that last repeat. Just like that, and then you want to chain three and turn your work. Okay, that's our first double crochet. Now we're going to go and put one double crochet into the next stitch. This one right here. One double crochet into the next stitch. So that is three and double crochets in a row, counting that chain three. And the next stitch will be our increased stitch. Two doubles in the same stitch. Like that. Now I'm going to put one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. So there's one in that one, one in the next one, one in the next one, and then the next stitch, two, sink two double crochets into the same stitch or increase stitch. Just like that. So that's the pattern for the length of this row. One double crochet in each of the next three stitches. One, 
two, three, and then two double crochets into the next for our increased stitch. So just go ahead and repeat that pattern to the end of the row. Okay, when you make it to the end of row three, you should be able to your increase. You should be able to finish out your uh, repeat with an increase right here in this last chain three at the top of it. So two double crochets into that last stitch, and then we're going to chain three and turn. Now this time we're going to do four double crochets in a row and then it'll be a double crochet increase. So that's our first one and we go to the next stitch and double crochet and then the next one double and then the next one double. So counting that chain three there's four in a row and then our next stitch is going to be our increase stitch. Two doubles in the same stitch. Again, one double crochet in each of the next four stitches. There's one, two, three, four, and then increase stitch two doubles into the same stitch. So you want to repeat this for the length of the row. Okay, at the end of that row, you should have ended with two double crochets in this top of this last chain three. Now you want to pull up your yarn a little bit and then we'll mark off for the armholes. You're going to need four stitch markers. I just used pieces of yarn here. Okay, counting where you left off. Right here, the stitch. You want to do Closer here. You want to count over 12 stitches. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Put a stitch marker in the 12th stitch. Okay? Now from the next one, not not we don't start with the one that your stitch marker is in. Start with the next one. Count over 18 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Put a stitch marker in the 19th stitch. Okay? Then you want to do the same over here. Count. Starting with this first chain here. Count over 12 stitches. Put your stitch marker in the 12th stitch. And then starting with the next stitch. Not the stitch marker stitch. The next one. You count over 18 stitches and then you put your stitch marker in the next one the 19th okay and now we're just going to pick up where we left off by chaining three and turning our work now we're going to put one double crochet in each of these stitches until we get to the stitch marker Okay, when you make it to your first stitch marker, crochet in the stitch that has the stitch marker. And then you can remove that stitch marker. Now I'm going to chain two, one, two, and I'm going to skip all these stitches to my next stitch marker and I'm going to double crochet in the stitch that has the marker. So with this chain two on your hook, Go ahead and yarn over and skip all these stitches and then we just double crochet into this next stitch with the stitch marker like that and then we can take that out because we don't need it anymore now we're going to put one double crochet in each of these stitches until we get to the next stitch marker
Okay, when you make it to the next stitch marker, double crochet in the stitch that has the marker. You can take it out. Now we're going to chain two. And again, we're going to skip all these stitches and double crochet in the next stitch with the marker. And then you can take out this stitch. And now we're just going to put one double in each of the remaining stitches. Okay, when you make it to the end, we're going to chain three, turn our work. Now we're going to put one double crochet in every single stitch until we get to that chain that we made for the armholes. Okay, when you make it to the chain, the armhole chain, since we chained two, we're going to go ahead and put two double crochets this right through the whole chain, right around the chain. So there's one and two. Now I'm going to continue across, putting one double crochet in every stitch until I get to the other chain and when I get to the other chain I'm just going to do the same thing two double crochets around the chain and then I'm going to finish out putting one double crochet in the re remainder of the stitches okay once you make it to the end you can see that we got the double crochets where the armholes are now we're just going to be doing rows of, we're going to chain three and turn, and now we're just going to be doing rows, back and forth rows of one double crochet in every stitch. Like this. Back and forth. And we're not doing anything around these armholes right now. We're just going down and across the back, across the armhole to the other side. We'll deal with these armholes later. But right now it's just back and forth rows of one double crochet in every stitch. Okay, you need to do a total of 12 rows of one double crochet in every stitch, starting with like this very, right underneath the arm, the row right underneath that as number one, and then count down 12. Once you get that done, you just pick up where you left off by chaining three and turning. That chain three counts as your first double crochet, and you want to do uh, a total of 24 double crochets across this row. So that's one, here's two, three, four. Okay, once you make it across your 24 stitches here, you want to chain three and turn. Now we're going to be doing rows of double crochet. One double crochet in each stitch, but we're just going to be doing it right here on these 24 stitches. So just continue across, putting one double crochet in each stitch, all the way across, and then you chain three and turn, go across again, one double crochet in each stitch. Okay. You want to go ahead and do a total of the of eight rows on this uh, leg piece, and then you can tie off or clip that yarn. Okay, now you want to start over here on this side. You want to skip four stitches, one, two, three, four, and start in the next one. And start by pulling your yarn through and chain one. Now go back in that same stitch and double crochet. 
and then just work your way across putting one double crochet in every stitch until you get to the end of the row and then we'll just be working eight rows of double crochet just like this one only right here we're just leaving this space empty these four stitches so go ahead and finish that the eight rows of double crochet on this leg piece okay once you get both of these legs <coughs> excuse me done um, before we start on the sleeves I want to go we're gonna go down this edge with the row single crochet I already did that one and then this edge with the row single crochet and then this inside <clears throat> so we're not gonna go around the bottoms yet not yet anyways or the neck yet I'm going to do that later but right now we're going along these two long sides and then in between the legs there and I'm using the same color I'm not switching colors yet so you just want to start in a bottom stitch that's marker on my thumbnail it's not dirt you probably you've probably seen that there it's permanent marker I only got some on I didn't want you to think it was like dirt in between my nails or anything even though I probably have that too but okay just start in any in a bottom stitch here and chain one now what we're doing is you can see it we're gonna be working on the sides of these double crochets and so they're kind of can't really see where to put the stitch what I'm going to do is put two single crochets to every one of these double crochets so I started there by chaining one now this first double crochet I'm going to go around and put two single crochets through the side of it kind of just going right through the side of the stitch like that and then this next one here two single crochets just kind of space them out the best you can but just kind of know that for every double crochet there's going to be two single crochets like that all right that and you want to do that all the way up this side and stop right here and tie it off and then go back down this long side doing it the same way okay so I went along both of the long sides with my row of single crochet so now I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna go around the back side of the legs and then this little butt area and then back down this side so I'm gonna start down here in the bottom corner and chain one and then it's the same thing for every double crochet there's going to be two single crochets like that up the side here okay when you get to this little uh, these stitches that we left open and you can see that we left four open and you can see them one two three four well there's a space right before it and then a space a stitch right after it I'm gonna put two single crochets in that space then I'm gonna do my one two three four one in each of these and then in this space right here after it I'm gonna put two single crochets so this little space right before two single crochets and then one in each of the four crossed one two three four and then there'll be this little spot right here that this stitch is connected to two in that one one two that kind of just rounds off the edge a little bit make it look a little bit nicer 
Now I'm just going to continue down in the same way I was doing over here. Two single crochets in each sides of each of these doubles. All the way down to the bottom. Then I'm just going to tie off. Okay, now I'm going to switch colors. Now if you want to use the same color for this, that's that's fine. You can do whatever you want to do here on color wise. But I'm going to go up the sides again, the long sides, with rows of single crochet. And I make kind of a little bit of a thick area that I can put my snaps onto. So I'm going to start down here again on the bottom stitch like we did before. And I'm going doing single crochet the same spaces, same spots I did before. So I'm going to start in that last stitch, chain one. And now I'm going to go back into that same stitch and single crochet. And now I'm going to work my way up the side here, putting one single crochet in every stitch until I get to the top. like that okay when I make it to the top I'm gonna chain one and I'm gonna turn and I'm gonna go back down again with another row try to hide this tail as I go but starting in not this very very first stitch but the next one with one single crochet in every stitch all the way down and I want to do a total of three rows here so when I go down I'm going to chain one and turn and go back up again and that'll be three rows and then I want to do the same thing on this side three rows and also I'll flip it over and I'll do the same thing here three rows of one single crochet in every stitch. Even here where we put two before, it's just going to get one. So three rows of the one of of, uh, of this trim, if you're using a different color or whatever, or if you're using the same, it doesn't matter, but three rows here, three rows here, and then flip it to where the right side is facing you and do three rows here. Just the same place as we did it before. Okay, I got the three rows on both sides and along this back. So now I'm going to work on the sleeve. And I already got one of them done. Excuse all my tails are everywhere. So I'm going to go back to my other color. Start on the sleeve. Okay. Now both sleeves are going to be done the exact same. Okay, I'm down here in this little armpit area. Remember where we made that chain and I put two double crochets for the chain? Okay. There's the two double crochets that went around the chain. I'm going to start in not this one, but the next one. Okay? And I'm going to start by chaining three. Now I'm going to go into the next one. I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to do, I'm actually going to do a double crochet two together. So I'm going to yarn over and go into that stitch and drop a loop. And then I'm going to yarn over and go through the first two loops on my hook. Now I'm going to go right in between the next stitches. I'm going to yarn over, go in between them and drop a loop. I'm going to yarn over and go through the first two loops on my hook and then yarn over and go through all three loops. So I double crocheted two stitches together. I made two stitches into one. Now I'm going to do that again by going through this space and the next space. So I'm going to yarn over, go into the next space, drop a loop, yarn over and go through the first two loops on my hook. 
and then the next space I'm going to do it again yarn over go right through that space drop a loop yarn over and go through the first two loops on my hook now I'm going to yarn over and go through the last three <coughs> and now I'm going to do it one more time this stitch right here and then this next stitch is actually like a, you can see it's kind of like a big chain space one there well so what we're going to do is yarn over and go into the top of this stitch the next one and drop a loop yarn over go through the first two loops and then i'm going to yarn over and just go right through this chain space drop a loop yarn over and go through the first two and then yarn over and go through all three okay now i'm just going to start doing one double crochet in every stitch starting in this next stitch right there so i'm going to work my way around now putting one double crochet in every stitch all the way around the sleeve until i get back to the beginning okay i'm coming back around you can see there's my chain three and here's the space right before it's the big chain space two that was on the other side just do one double crochet through that and then slip stitch into the top of your beginning chain three and we're going to chain three again okay these three uh where we double crochet three together you can see them one two three now i'm going to double crochet all three of them together so what I'm going to do is yarn over and go in to the first set and draw up a loop. Yarn over and go through the first two loops on my hook. I'm going to yarn over and go to the next one. Draw up a loop. Yarn over and go through the first two loops on my hook. And now I have three up here. I'm going to yarn over again and go into the next set. Draw up a loop yarn over and go through the first two loops on my hook and now I have four loops I'm going to yarn over and go through all four so I took all three of these sets and made them into one stitch so now I'm just going to continue around starting with the next stitch putting one double crochet in every stitch all the way around back to the beginning okay I made it back around and I slip stitch into the top of that chain three now I'm going to chain three again and now I'm going to decrease do a double crochet decrease over this stitch and this stitch so I'm going to yarn over and go into the next stitch draw a loop yarn over and go through the first two loops I'm going to yarn over and go into the next stitch draw a loop yarn over and go through first two and then all three like that now I'm going to work my way around putting one double crochet in every stitch until I get to the other side I made it back around to the other side and I stopped right before my last two stitches and I'm going to decrease these last two stitches together so on this row I decreased the first I did that chain three and then I decreased the next two stitches and then I went around and I'm going to decrease these last two stitches so I'm going to yarn over and go in drop a loop yarn over and go through the first two yarn over and go into the next stitch drop a loop yarn over and go through the first two and then all three and then I'm going to slip stitch into my beginning chain three and if you followed me you should have a total of 21 stitches now and now I'm just gonna do rows I'm not gonna decrease anymore I'm just gonna chain three and I'm gonna do rows of one double crochet in every single stitch all the way around until I get the length that I want my arm to be and I'm actually going to do a total of 10 rows of stitches. So we've already did 
three and I'm working on my fourth one and I want to do a total of ten. You can see it, it over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All the way, so it's just one double right now all the way around. Slip stitch, chain three, and just keep doing rounds of one double until you get a total, counting all these decreasers, of ten. Okay, I got both sleeves done. You want to make sure that you do the sleeves exactly the same, that they have the same number of stitches in each sleeve. So that way they're, they're the same size. Okay, about done. I'm going to do one more thing before I put the snaps on. I'm going to go around the whole entire piece with a row of single crochet, and that'll clean up all these edges that are kind of wacky right now. So I'm going to start down at the bottom, and I'm going to go up single crochet around the neck back back down this side around the foot or the leg opening back up this back of the leg and this little back of the butt area back down the leg around this part the bottom of the leg back to my beginning and it's just going to be one single crochet in every stitch except for when we get to the corner so I'm gonna start you can start anywhere you want I'm actually gonna start kind of I think I'm gonna start in the back that way my start is not so noticeable but make sure the right side of your work is facing you when you start okay I'm just gonna start uh, just anywhere okay you want to start by chaining one and then go back into the same stitch and single crochet. I'm using the my original color, but you can use a different color or whatever you want to do it in. Now I'm going to do one single crochet <clears throat> in every stitch. I'm trying to hide some of these tails as I go. And then when I get right here, I want to do it make sure I go along the side of this trim piece too with one single crochet and since there were three rows of trim you want to make sure you do three single crochets but in the last one I'm actually going to put two two single crochets in the last one since it's the corner so every corner is going to get two single crochets there's one. Split my yarn. And there's two. And I'm going to continue back up the side, putting one single crochet in every stitch. And I'm going to do it all the way around. But there'll be four corners that this one. I'm sorry, more than four. This one will get two, and this corner will get two, this corner will get two, and this corner will get two, and then you want to put two single crochets in the top corners, top two corners. But all the other ones are going to get one. By putting two, it just kind of rounds the edge out a little better, so it doesn't really flip up that much. So I'm just going to continue going around my whole piece now with single crochet. I'm just cleaning up any loose edges. That's what I'm doing. That's why I'm doing this. So I'm going to go ahead and finish, and then I'm going to hide some tails, and then we'll put the snaps on. Okay, I went around it all, and I got all the edges cleaned up. I still have a few more tails to sew in. But now I'm going to put on the buttons. Now, I didn't make button holes. I'm going to be using the holes in between the these stitches as my buttonholes. So you want to make sure you use a button that's small enough that'll fit through. I think the buttons I used were um, 3 8 inch or 9 millimeter buttons. Okay, this is how you want to sew on the buttons. And I actually have some of them sewed on wrong, so don't pay no attention to that. But what you want to do is you only space out one, two, three, six buttons down this strip until you get to the leg area. So I know these are sewed on, but please pay no attention to these. I have to take these off. So six, all the way down into the leg area. And then what you want to do is 
This will be blank. These are not supposed to be here. I had to look at my daughter's sleeper to see how the button, but. And then you want to put space out three evenly up each leg. And then we want to put one in the center crotch area, kind of right here. So it'll be three up this leg, three down this leg, and one kind of in the middle crotch area. And then, it, see, I'm doing it on the back side. See, this is the wrong side of the work, actually, but when you flip it, this is the good side. And that's where you want to sew the buttons. So three, three, and then one extra kind of in the crotchy area, or the butt area, or whatever that is. And then, these will flip over and button to them. I'm sorry. Like that. So the button here and a button. Your buttons will be here and here. And this will fold over and button. This will fold over and button. Remember these are not supposed to be here. And then you'll have six up here. One, two, three, four, five, six to the leg area. So you're actually going to have a total of eleven. I'm sorry. A total of 13 buttons all together once you get it on. And if you don't want to use that many buttons, you can just space them a little bit. If you don't have that many, you can space them out bigger. You don't have to. Like I put mine pretty close, about an inch, inch and a half, but you can go farther apart. Of course, if you don't want to use that many buttons. But that's it. That's all there is to it. I hope you are able to follow along okay. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to come check me out on Facebook. And you can post all your crochet items on there. I'll leave a link to my Facebook page below in the description box.